Imagine living with pain so relentless, so intrusive, that it dominates every waking hour for more than a decade. 13 years. That's 4,745 days, each one shadowed by the same ache, the same burning reminder that life will never be what it once was. Now imagine, after all those years, one day you wake up and the pain is gone. Not dulled by medication, not pushed aside with distractions, gone because your own brain rewired itself. What if I told you this is not fiction, but science, neuroplasticity in action? Today, I'm sharing the true story of Dr. Michael Moskowitz and Jan. A journey from desperation to hope, from constant agony to freedom. Proving that your brain is not your jailer, but your greatest healer. Chronic pain is more than just a symptom. It's a thief. It steals your sleep, your focus, your relationships, and sometimes your sense of self. The worst part? For many, chronic pain lingers long after injuries have healed. That's because pain isn't just a message from your body. It's a story your brain tells over and over until it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Enter Dr. Michael Moskowitz, a pain specialist who devoted his career to helping others until fate turned the tables on him. In the late 1990s, Dr. Moskowitz injured his neck in a water skiing accident. The pain that followed was unlike anything he'd ever treated. Constant, burning, unresponsive to medication. He tried every therapy in the book. Physical therapy, chiropractic, acupuncture, injections. Nothing worked. The pain grew worse, eventually radiating down his arm, making simple tasks like writing or sleeping nearly impossible. He was, as he described, living in a prison of pain. But unlike most, Dr. Moskowitz had one more tool, an intimate knowledge of the brain's wiring. And as desperation mounted, he decided to experiment on himself. At the turn of the millennium, the idea that the adult brain could rewire itself was still radical. Most doctors believed chronic pain was forever, a kind of neural scar. But Moskowitz had been following new research, showing the brain was far more adaptable, a concept called neuroplasticity. He began to wonder, if pain could persist after the body healed, maybe it was because the brain had rewired itself to feel pain on autopilot. What if, by reversing this wiring, he could shut the pain off? So Dr. Moskowitz devised a simple yet radical experiment. Moskowitz's theory was that the brain had developed an overactive pain map, a network of neurons firing unnecessarily, creating the sensation of pain even without injury. His plan, compete for those neurons. If pain had hijacked those circuits, he would take them back using vivid visualization. Here's what he did. Every single time he felt a pain spike, even if it was 50 times a day, he stopped what he was doing. He closed his eyes and imagined the pain circuits in his brain shrinking, shrinking, shrinking until they disappeared. He visualized healthy, non-painful sensations replacing the pain, drawing from memories of what it felt like to be pain-free. He did this with total focus, no matter where he was or what he was doing. The brain, after all, responds to attention. Every time Moskowitz visualized, he was teaching his brain, this is not where pain lives anymore. At first, nothing happened. The pain was just as intense, just as unyielding. 
but Moskowitz refused to quit. Day after day, visualization after visualization, he waged a gentle war for control over his own mind. And then, a few weeks in, something shifted. He realized for the first time in years that he'd gone a whole hour without thinking about the pain. He redoubled his efforts. The pain-free hours became longer, then stretched into days. The prison door was starting to open. Within a few months, Dr. Moskowitz was, against all medical odds, pain-free. No pills, no surgery, just the power of focused neuroplasticity. But for him, this wasn't enough. He knew if it worked for him, it could work for others. That's where Jan's story begins. Jan was a nurse, a healer herself, whose life had slowly shrunk as her back pain grew. Thirteen years of pain, surgeries, and failed treatments had worn her down to a shadow. She'd tried physical therapy, medication, and even considered risky surgeries. Nothing brought relief. The world for Jan had become smaller and smaller. No more hikes, no long walks, no laughter with her grandkids. She felt powerless until a colleague introduced her to Dr. Moskowitz. Moskowitz explained his approach. He showed Jan diagrams of the brain, explained how pain could linger long after injuries healed, how her pain map had grown so large that even ordinary sensations triggered agony. He told her something no one else had. Your brain created this pain, and your brain can uncreate it too, but you have to practice. He taught Jan the visualization technique. Every time pain struck, pause, and vividly imagine her pain circuits shrinking. Replace pain with memories of comfort, warmth, relaxation, anything that felt good and real. Do this not just once a day, but every single time pain arose, no matter how often. Jan was skeptical, but having exhausted every other avenue, she committed. The first few days the pain didn't budge. The old doubts crept in. This is pointless. I'm broken. My brain can't change. But Jan persisted. She filled notebooks with drawings of shrinking pain maps, reminders to visualize, and affirmations of her brain's healing power. Weeks passed. Some days the pain seemed worse. Her brain, like an old habit, clung to the familiar. But slowly, imperceptibly, cracks formed in the prison walls. She began to notice, like Moskowitz had, that for short periods she simply forgot to focus on the pain. She laughed at her granddaughter's joke, and for that moment, the pain wasn't there. These pain gaps grew. Where once pain was an unbroken storm, now there were breaks of sunlight. One morning, Jan woke up and sat on the edge of her bed. She braced herself for the usual morning agony, but nothing. Just a soft hum of quiet. She stood up, waited for the knife in her back, but it didn't come. That day she took a long walk. The next day she joined her family at the park. Each time she caught herself fearing the pain, she did her visualization, reinforcing the new map. Over the next few months, Jan's life opened up again. The pain that defined her for 13 years receded into the background. A memory, not a master. What happened here wasn't magic. It was neuroplasticity in action. Chronic pain is often a case of neurons that fire together, wire together. The brain, after repeated injury or stress, can become so good at creating pain that it keeps firing those circuits even after the body heals. By competing for those circuits with focused visualization, Jan and Dr. Moskowitz taught their brains a new story, that pain was no longer necessary and the brain could devote its energy elsewhere. Over time, the pain map in the brain actually shrinks, scientifically measurable by MRI scans and neural mapping studies. The key, both found, was consistency. 
The brain learns through repetition. Every time they chose visualization over rumination, they were watering the seeds of a new reality. If you or someone you love lives with chronic pain or any persistent pattern that feels unbreakable, let this story be a lighthouse. Your brain is not set in stone. It is an ever-changing, adaptable organ capable of profound transformation, even after years, even when hope seems lost. The process is simple, but not easy. Notice the pain. Interrupt it with visualization every single time. Be patient. Neuroplasticity is gradual, but relentless. Remember, Jan didn't heal overnight, but with every visualization, every act of defiance against her pain map, she reclaimed another piece of her life. You don't need to be a doctor or a neuroscientist. You just need belief, consistency, and the willingness to try again and again. Your brain is listening. What story will you teach it next? If you found this story inspiring, subscribe for more real life neuroplasticity journeys, brain rewiring science, and actionable guides to reclaiming your mind and your life. What pattern in your life are you ready to rewire? Drop a comment below and let's build a community of transformation, one brain at a time.